today with a new Ruger American Rimfire Rifle. I first got to shoot one of these a couple of weeks ago at gun site, got to shoot it briefly. Had a real good uh, real good time shooting it, didn't get to put it on paper at that time, but I got it back here. I've had this one for a few days now, and uh, Ruger's just introducing this today. As you see this video, they're coming out with it, but the rifles are already in stock at distributors and already shipped to dealers. But let me tell you a few features about this rifle. It comes in two sizes, the full size and the compact. This one happens to be the full size version, which has a 22 inch barrel and a 13 and 3 quarter inch uh, length of pull. The compact version has a 12 and a half inch length of pull and an 18 inch barrel. Other than that, they're just alike. It has a Ruger power bedding system, which locks this up. It, it fixed steel to steel instead of uh, just bolting the synthetic stock into the receiver. It uh, holds it really well and keeps it from from losing any of its accuracy, keeps it mashed in there tight, the barrel's free floated, it's got a good uh, lightweight synthetic stock on it. This rifle balances really well, weighs just under six pounds on my scale. The compact version weighs a little bit less. Got a nice low 70 degree bolt lift on it, and it has Ruger's excellent marksman trigger, which you can adjust between three and five pounds for this rifle. It's really crisp police. It's the best trigger that Ruger's ever put on any of the rimfire rifles. This also uses Ruger's excellent 1022 uh, magazines. Uh, it'll also use other uh, magazines that are compatible with 1022. This is a 10 shot magazine, but fixed flush with the bottom of the stock. The Magnum versions of this will use the nine shot Ruger rotary magazine, which is also an excellent magazine. And the Magnum versions are also available now. Both versions are, are shipping to dealers. Uh, so after you see this, you'll be able to get this gun and be no waiting on it. They've been manufacturing for a while have them in full production. It's got the tang safety right here where God intended it to be right on top. It's not on the side, not a cross bolt. It's a handy safety for either left or right hand users. It's a dandy rifle. Uh, these MSRP as of today is $329. Comes with everything you need. Uh, the receiver is grooved for tip off mounts or it comes drilled for weaver number 12 scope bases. I prefer to do it that way so I can put a full size scope on here Bolts it down a little better than using the tip-off screws, but if you prefer that, you can use the tip-off screws. Got a good set of sights on it. The rear is adjustable. Folds down to get out of your way for a scope. The front of the fiber optic, and it's a real good, uh, they're mounted on a real good hammer forged uh, barrel with a smooth finish inside. Got sling studs, which any hunting rifle needs to have. Anyway, it's an excellent rifle. It's the uh, American Rimfire, and it's available now from Ruger. If y'all notice, I've been dry firing this Ruger. And some of you are already hammering on your keyboards telling me you're not supposed to dry fire a rim fire. But uh, with the Ruger, it's okay. A uh, Ruger rim fire, uh, rifles and pistols, uh, they're set up where you can dry fire them. They limit the travel of that firing pin so it's not going to hammer up the back of your chamber. So that's why I wanted to put this in here so you don't send me a bunch of emails and stuff fussing at me for dry firing this Ruger. But it's in the manual. You're welcome to dry fire these Rugers. Get a feel of that trigger. Uh, when you're setting up your trigger, adjust it how you want to. You can adjust it down to three pounds, like I said. That's where I prefer it to be. But anyway, it will not hurt to dry fire your Ruger American rifle. As I mentioned, this uh, Ruger American Rim Fire uses excellent 1022 uh, long rifle magazines. It'll also use the BX25. Any uh, good magazine that's compatible with the Ruger 1022, this will use it. On your Magnum versions, you're pretty much stuck with the nine shot magazine, which that's a real good magazine. Works really well and holds plenty. But a lot of people like these BX25s, and uh, you can pop it in here and uh, and get you a few more rounds out of it without reloading if you want to. Anyway, it'll use any of these excellent Ruger magazines. I prefer the tens myself because it carries really well right there, holds well. And if I can't do it with ten shots, I pretty much need to quit, do something else. Anyway, these are available now. Uh, like I said, you can go to your local gun dealer and tell them you want the Ruger American Rimfire Rifle. This Ruger American Rimfire Rifle comes with two different. Uh, Buck stock modules on it, and what it does, it's got the uh, this the high comb, which works really great if you're using a scope. You want your a good uh, cheek weld on that stock, but have your eye right behind the scope. Most stocks won't do that for you, but if you use this comb with your uh, open sights, your head's going to be too high to get down there and see them real well. Ruger ships this rifle with both. You got a low comb and a high comb. Very easy to change. Now, another thing they have, the compact version comes with the. Uh, it's shorter, giving you a 12 and a half inch length of pull. You can use any of the buckstock modules on any of the guns. So if you want a longer barrel with a compact stock, you can do it. 
you want a shorter barrel with a full size stock, you can do it. Ruger sells these modules on shopruger.com, but it comes with two. If you get the full size rifle, you get the two full size uh, modules. To change it, very easy to do. You thread out your real swivel stud. You pop this off. You slide on the other module and you put the stud back in. Very easy to do and like I said it comes with both of them. I prefer the high one because I use scope most of the time but if you're using the open sights it really helps you get your head down lower and use that uh, shorter cone. Anyway the rifle comes with both. It's included in the price. It uh, comes with a cable lock uh, and like uh, all Ruger rifles they're 100% made in the USA and they're available now. These are these started shipping yesterday uh, to dealers. The distributors had them for a couple of days. So by the time you see this video, you can go to your uh, gun store and get you one of these. If your dealer don't have it in stock, he can get you one. But they're on the shelves now, and it's the new American Rimfire Rifle from Ruger. Let me talk to you a little bit about the scope I got on here. You know this uh, uh, Ruger American Rimfire, this full-size version, weighs in at just a little under six pounds, and I didn't want to uh, load up the weight with a big heavy scope. This is a loophole compact, two to seven variable, which is ideal for a rimfire like this. You can crank it down to two for your close range shots. Got plenty of magnification for uh, picking squirrels out of the tall trees and such, or a varmint a little further out. But anyway, it's nice, compact, lightweight. Uh, only adds about a pound of the total weight of this. I got it in some lightweight uh, uh, loophole, American vertically split rings. Holds it on there really well, but uh, for a, a a quality rifle like this with a good trigger and all, you want a good scope. You don't want to just put a cheap piece of junk on it. This Loophole VX2 is a real nice scope, but it don't add a lot of weight, and it fits really well with this rifle. Now, the rifle comes with some good sights. If you prefer to use open sights, they got folding, adjustable rear, fiber optic front on it. I like a good scope on the 22 to uh, squeeze all accuracy out of it that I can. So anyway, uh, this Loophole scope is available. Uh, you can look them up at loophole.com. They're available anywhere sells Loophole. But it fits really well with the nice size and balance of this uh, Ruger American rifle.